The Song of the Year, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. I'm the bad guy. Duh. With almost 800 million views on YouTube. I literally am living the exact life that I would have a dream about that would be like the best dream you could possibly think of. The 18-year-old pop star has arrived. She's performed live at the Oscars. And the Grammy Awards. Where she won five awards of her own. Billie Eilish! Becoming the youngest solo performer ever to win Album of the Year. Along with her brother Phineas, who is also her creative partner and producer. We stand up here confused and grateful. <laughs> Thank you. The two have become one of the hottest teams in music. So what does it feel like when you're winning the biggest awards of the night on your debut album? Dude, <laughs> that we made in his bedroom, in our childhood home. Um, I don't know, it was crazy. Now their latest accomplishment, writing the theme song for the next Bond movie, No Time to Die. Making Billy the youngest artist ever to write the title track for the iconic franchise. I remember just feeling like so anxious because I was like, I just want it to be good. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. And then we got that melody and it was just there, done. The siblings collaborated with legendary film composer Hans Zimmer, who created the song's orchestral arrangement and is scoring the rest of the movie. I, I just loved it from the moment <laughs> I heard it and it just got under my skin and stayed there. I'm honored, yeah, to be, be, be allowed into that, uh, in, into that relationship for a moment. You know, and, <laughs> and I think we did, we, did, we did good. Billy and Phineas have been making music together since they were little kids. I was just a kid who had a lot of time to focus on things that I wanted to focus on. Detailed in a documentary by Apple Music, the two grew up homeschooled in a household of actors and musicians. It just allowed them to have this creative life. How does one relationship inform the other? Our friendship and like siblingship or whatever is, is kind of exactly the same as our professional relationship. We don't really turn on like a, a business switch. I feel a great sense of satisfaction when Billy feels close enough to me to go, I don't like that at all. They caught the ear of industry executives and the pair began releasing songs in 2016. Her breakout track, Ocean Eyes, garnered over 200 million views on YouTube when she was just 14 years old. Since then, they've become a hit machine. From You Should See Me in a Crown, to the dreamy Everything I Wanted, Billy's style is as distinctive as her sound. Known for pushing the envelope with her avant-garde looks, she's recently added another notch to her fashion belt. In the cover of Vogue. What goes through your mind when you look at that? How long these shoots were, <laughs> honestly. No, no, it's, um, I, dude, Vogue? I don't know, life is crazy, this is insane. With her career taking off at a whirlwind pace over the past year, it's easy to forget Billy is still a teenager. People forget that I'm 18. It's just like funny, it's like my life is so professional and then after a certain amount of hours, I just turn into it like a teenager. It's a rise familiar to a rare few. Her own childhood idol, Justin Bieber, recently reflected on his turbulent past and offered support for Billy in an interview with Apple Music. I just want to protect her, you know? I don't want her to, you know, go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. So, um, yeah, if she ever needs me, I'm, I'm just a call away. How did it make you feel to see him speak about you in that way, and, and what did you think? Dude, you can't even imagine. I don't think he understands how, how big of a deal that is. And, you know, just him breaking down, saying that he wants to protect me is like the craziest thing ever. Another childhood dream, writing that 007 theme song. It's literally been something that like, Finney's and I have wanted to do for years. It was always a dream of ours. We always wanted to do it, but I thought maybe in our 30s or 40s. I didn't know. I didn't know this soon. That's decades away, guys. Yeah, You're young. Exactly. That's what I thought. I thought maybe, fingers crossed, maybe someday.
The brother and sister joining a pantheon of greats who have written title tracks for the Bond series, like Madonna's Die Another Day. to Adele's Skyfall and Sam Smith's writings on the wall. The writings on the wall. Those who do it tend to be celebrated for it. Sam Smith and Adele each have won Oscars for their title songs for Bond. I'm happy for them. Do you think that there's a chance, if all goes well, that next year at the Oscars you'll be there as a nominee? And what would that feel like? As long as Frozen 3 doesn't come out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, yeah. I'm excited for next year and this year and every year. I'm, I'm, I'm really just looking forward to my life. Honored at the 2020 Brit Awards this week where she performed No Time to Die live for the first time, Billy seemed to address her recent struggle with negative comments on social media. I felt very hated recently and when I was on the stage and I saw you guys all smiling at me. Um, it genuinely made me want to cry, and I want to cry right now. So All the awards and acclaim still feel surreal to Billie Eilish. How are you enjoying the way things turned out? Dude, it feels like I'm in a dream, and I'm going to wake up, and it'll all be over, and I'll still be a little pimply, chubby 11-year-old. <laughs> For Nightline, I'm Will Reeve in London. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.